Hey friends, Billy from LM Cases here. And today, as I'm sure you've guessed, we've got a weird one for you. All of our videos are weird that we post on YouTube, but uh, you know, I feel like you guys probably know what guitar amp cases look like. So this is what we are calling the EcoFlow Caddy. Um, this is basically a transfer switch distro all in one. Um, what you're looking at is a three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood structure here that encloses an EcoFlow panel and it has a 20U rack section. Um, this is a pretty unique thing that is going to a client that has a set piece that needs to float in the middle of the sphere in Las Vegas. And because of that, they can't have any power cables uh, going to it. They need to make it look like it's the illusion that it's floating. So because of that, they can't, uh, they, they can't have stage power that goes to this thing. So this entire structure is what powers their lights. And uh, with the EcoFlow panel, they have battery packs that go into this. Um, the, it, this is a new one for me. The client specced the panel. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty interesting thing. It is a smart panel, which I've not played with yet, but it was, it was pretty cool to do the config on this, where basically it's designed for people with either electric cars um, or to use this thing as a transfer switch so that if your house runs out of power, uh, you can charge the EcoFlow brand batteries, or I, I can't remember the, the manufacturer name of this. They all plug into this, and this panel acts as a transfer switch so that the way this client is using this is they'll run the floating set piece off of the batteries, and then when it's time to uh, charge everything, they can put it back on land power, which for this particular application is a 50 amp Kali connector, uh, which I'm not sure quite what's in the zeitgeist that these are super, super popular right now, but I feel like we've been getting requests for everything to be powered off a of 50 inch or 50 amp Kali. Um, I should say, before we, we continue on this, um, this was a, a, a close friend of mine who's been an LM customer for a long, long time. Um, and he called me and said, can you get this from napkin CAD to finished in a week? And of course, not being one to, to say no, especially to, to long time clients, uh, we, we cranked it out with as many things as we had in stock as humanly possible. So there are certain things on this panel, say these P-Touch labels, that in a normal world, LM would, would laser etch that, but we had to do everything that we had in stock. And luckily, we had a great majority of these in stock, a uh, great majority of the product that we have in here in stock. Um, one of the interesting things that we don't carry a lot of is um, Socopex connectors. And because um, at the time of building and filming this, it is the week of Infocom, our suppliers that we usually get this stuff from, no one was in the office. So they couldn't ship us Saco connectors and they couldn't ship us 19 conductor cable. Um, so these are a, uh, an internet find. Uh, these are Euro Veeam connectors that happen to mate with a 19 pin Saco. Um, and the cable is something that we actually made here <laughs> to make work. So, you know, they, I, I'll give you the two tropes. One, the show must go on. And two, they call it show business, not show fun. So we got this thing done in about four days from napkin CAD to, to completion. So uh, it is, going back to the front where we started, this is a 50 amp Cali inlet. So that is X and Y, neutral and ground. Um, the next one on here, this is an L620 connector. So this is two hots and a ground. Uh, both 20 amps on the hots. Uh, this is an in-stock 2U rack panel that we had and we, we literally punched with the Greenlee punch because it was anodized and if we did it uh, any other way, it would scratch it and it's just it's not how it works. So we just punched that manually. Um, the other two Saco breakouts are, are again, things that we keep in stock here at LM. So this is Saco to True One. Um, so in a normal aspect or a normal application, if you check the link in the description below, you can see the stock panel. Um, it's wired so that each of the banks are, are one circuit. So there are 12 true ones on here. Um, a and B is one circuit, uh, but because of the way the bus bar is configured, if you notice, uh, it says one, three, five, seven, and nine, and 11. So each bank of two is one 20 amp breaker. 
uh, below, this is the other side of the bus bar. This is two, four, and then six has two true ones, and eight has two true ones. And we also happen to have a Middle Atlantic BR2 brush panel in stock. <laughs> so um, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. So the way that you're looking at this is actually not how it will be transported or, or um, mounted in its, in its final uh, set piece. Uh, it'll actually be flipped on its back so that it's like this. So what you're looking at here is a flange um, and it has a piece of marine grade plastic on the back of it. So this is designed to hang, um, it's designed to hang in its, in, in, a, in like a, a two rails on either side. So if you notice, we have some stage weights on one side and a vice grip on the, or a quick grip on the, 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 on the front so that we can just shoot this video. Um, the other thing that we're looking at here is the handles. Uh, so these are black deep recessed handles. So you can see this is for carrying it and then the other two are for if you wanna lay it down, uh, what we generally and affectionately call a skateboard here at LM. Um, so the panel is pretty cool. Um, this is my first time playing with the smart panel. Um, each, uh, it, everything is controlled with an app. So, you know, the, uh, the people who are in show control can, ma can monitor uh, and or turn off breakers. So you can see the amp draw on each breaker, the voltage at the breaker, um, and then you can also turn them off if you'd like. So because of that, that is, uh, it does require an ethernet connection. So there is some available rack space down here for um, the people on the, uh, the set team. To, uh, to, to, to mount. So I think there's gonna be a switch and an access point and some other kind of things. So one of the things that we did, uh, just because the um, uh, LAN, or what they're calling the LAN on the panel is right by the main uh, bus lugs, we are using a pretty heavy duty belt and shielded cable here. Um, the other thing that we did is we gave them an industrial RJ45. And the cool thing about this is uh, these are, are field wireable um, and the only tools you need are a pair of side cutters. So we left them a fairly long cable because we just, we don't know what they're going to do, um, so they can just pull that connector off and cut the cable down if they need to. And we gave them a little uh, heat shrink label here, and so we can get the camera to focus that says panel LAN. Um, so looking at the side here, there's a pretty gratuitous cable passage. Um, so these are all of the, um, the, the feed cables, so the, or I should say these are the other end of our air quote SACO cables that go down here. Um, and then it's, uh, that's, that's how it goes into the panel. Uh, so construction is three quarter inch Baltic birch. Uh, everything is texture coated. All of the holes are filled so you can't see any of the fastener holes. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty pretty solid box. Um, I think the only thing that the comment section may give me a hard time about um, is because of the time constraint, again, we just had to use this panel uh, that's back there. So, you know, the, uh, the Cali connector by nature is enclosed, but the L6 is just wrapped in some electrical tape. But worry not. YouTube comments section, this is going into an enclosure. Um, so it's, it's kind of double covered and, and okay. You know, I mean, again, if I didn't have four days to get this thing done, um, we could have built a back box and everything for it, but that's just what we had to do to get this out. So as far as it goes, um, if, you're, if you're curious about the design process of this, they sent us the panel. Um, customer sent us the panel and then we designed all around it. Um, so this panel does have a door that goes on it, but uh, for the sake of the video and, and just setting the camera down a million times, it is off and resting behind us. But you can see the CNC work does keep everything very nice and flush here. Um, things like the hinges are accommodated for. It is very, very nice uh, panel. There are actually some spacers behind the panel to get it so that it sits flush. So I know this is a weird one. I'm sure that uh, the, the five of you who are interested in LM Cases content uh, may have some questions about that. So uh, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you do have a question and you wanna speak to me directly, you can uh, shoot me an email, billy at lmcases.com. Uh, if you would like to look at some still pictures of this particular project and maybe not have the poor uh, camera work and over ranting, uh, uh, ums and uhs and all that kind of stuff with uh, your narrator, yours truly speaking, check us out at lmcases.com. There is a link in the description to magically transport you to our website. Um, the other thing is, if you do want to kind of check out what we're up to, uh, I do try to post to Instagram as much as humanly possible, even if it's just a little quick uh, video. So if you want to see the daily goings on of LM, because, you know, with these videos, they do take a long time to edit with uh, 
with everything. So if you want to see just some quicker stuff, check out our Instagram. We are LM underscore cases. As always, thank you so much for stopping by, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.